and good morning all. Rolling that ball up and down and across the knuckles. And in the palm and then thumb pads and the piggy pads. And let's take it in the palms, interlace the fingers and squeeze. And let go and squeeze. And let go. And one more time. And let go. And today let's toss it up. <clears throat> Switch in. Which hands you catch it with. Dropping it occasionally. No problem. Moving it to the sides. Bringing the tempo, maybe slapping it. Keep yourself guessing. And three, <clears throat> two, one, and let's drop it. Assessing where our feet are. They're right below us, of course, but um, assess how they feel on the floor and step down in the middle of the foot. One, two, three. Moving it up to the knuckles. And sliding it across. Rolling down. And scribbling. Three, two, one, reassess. On the foot. Knuckles. Sliding across. Rolling down. And scribbling. Three, two, and one. We'll get that out of the way and reassess. <clears throat> and let's do some wood chops. We'll do seven through. The middle and set it on each side. And go to the other side. Shake those hands. And shake the rest of the body. Shake the tree.
three, two, one, center. And twist at the waist, swing the arm. Center with some motion wave breathing. Fingers and thumb on the base of the spine as we gather in starlight. Center and gather from the other side. And center. Marching in place or jogging. <clears throat> so today we're going to do a series of floor exercises and stretches ranging from a uh, little variation on the squat to hinges to pikes to planks to antlers and world's greatest stretch and figure fours and whatever we could fit in. So I think I'll sprint, but do whatever you. It feels right. Pick it up a little bit, pick it up a lot. Keep doing what you're doing. Be safe. I guarantee you're going to feel stretched out by the end of today. And then we'll roll in the after class. In five, four, three, two, one, two. Twenty, twenty three. Interlacing fingers, raising towards the ceiling. Extending back. Good. 
Coming forward and bending to one side. And then the other. Centering. Pushing down at the chair, out at the chest. Come down, push down. Hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, come up, squeezing those shoulder blades together, a little higher. And down. We'll shrug. Roll back. And forward. Extend the arms and rotate. And in the other direction. Thumbs are up and down, up and down. And bring one arm across the body, pressing at the elbow. <clears throat> And then the other. Behind the back, pressing down. And bring the other arm down and pull on the fingers or use a cloth or band if you have one handy. And let's do it on the other side. Pushing down. And then pull it. And rotate the neck. Other direction. Nod. Go ears to shoulders. Look over your shoulder. And the other shoulder. Look up. And look down. Extend one arm, flip this up, pull back. Extend the other and pull back. And flop the wrist and wiggle the fingers or make a fist or do both.
other hand. And down. And flop. Let's just stretch the adductors. We'll get the other leg muscles on the floor. Other way. And let's grab a stick. Want to roll out. And roll back. Good flop. Laterally. And in the other direction. Push out. Flop the wrists. Bring the stick up and behind the shoulders if you can, and down. Bring the stick behind and the crook of the elbows and rotate the waist. Lean back in an extension if you can. Come up. Tuck in the chin and peck like a pigeon. Let's take the stick up to the neck and twist the trunk, keeping the head and hip steady, facing forward. Take the stick down, put it up front to one side and swing it back and behind. And then the other side. And bring it to the front. And let's go up on our toes and back on our heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes. Heels, 
toes, heels, toes. Okay, bring it in front. Bring one leg up as much as you feel comfortable doing. So it's just slightly challenged, but not in danger. You can bring it up as far as you can. You might want to bring it to the side, challenging yourself. You can extend your arms with the stick, a little bit more of a challenge. Bring them up overhead. So you can start moving the stick. And again, if you just need to shift your weight to one foot and keep the other one on the floor, that's perfectly good too. It's all a progressive exercise. And let's go to the other foot, same thing. Starting with holding the stick steady in front of you and maybe moving it around. Let go behind. Whoops, let's not do that. Okay, we'll do the kayak. And now, all right. <clears throat> Let us put the stick down. Um, you can hold on to the stick or a chair or a uh, side of a wall if you want while we do some squats. I'm going to do a little different squat. We're going to do a wide squat. You want your legs further apart than regular in a squat, your feet uh, facing out. And I'm going to start coming up a little bit at a time. A little bit higher each time. And only go down as low as you feel comfortable. Six, seven, back down, eight, nine, ten, we'll do twelve, eleven, and on the twelfth, we're all the way up. Now hinge at the waist. Hips are over the ankles. We're stretching those hamstrings. Hands as close to the floor as possible. Don't lock the knees. But you're not bending them either yet. And then walk out. If you have to bend your knees, do it into a pike. And stretch those calves. Push it back on the um, heels and then walk forward, put your knees on the ground and we're going to do a plank. You can do it on your knees with your forearms on the floor. You can make it a little bit harder by putting your palms on the floor underneath your shoulders or coming up on your toes. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 13, Let's come back down on all fours and do some cat cows. Cat, chin in, back rounded, Cow back arched, head looking ahead. Cat and cow. Cat and cow. <coughs> Cat, cow, and one more. Cat. And cow. Now let's do an antler. You want to bring one hand up, put the palm behind your head, 
and turn your head up towards your elbow and hold. Still on your knees. And then bring that hand down. Bring your other hand up behind your palm behind your head and look up towards your elbow. And come back down. Now we're going to do the world's greatest stretch. So you want to bring up through the other leg. Bring one leg up. So the foot is on the floor. Both hands are inside the foot. And you bring the hand that's furthest away from the foot up and look towards it. You're either on your knee or if you want to progress it, you're on your foot. Two. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and come back down. Switch the positions of the feet. Again, your hands are inside by the arch of your foot. Stay on your knee or go back on your foot or your toes and come up and look up at the other hand. Fourteen, fifteen, and come back down. Let's go on our backs. Hands are by your side. Soles of the feet are on the floor. And we're going to do a windshield wiper. Just move your knees back and forth, side to side. You can put your Hands straight out if that's more comfortable for you. And stop. Keep the sole of one foot on the floor. Bring the ankle across and place it right below the knee. Wrap your hands around the back of your thigh and pull your leg towards you. Stretching the hip flexor. Zah. A little bit more pulling. Let the foot down. Push the knee that's in the air away from you. And then put both soles of the feet on the floor again and cross the other leg. Grab your back of your thigh, pull the leg towards you again. Put the leg down, press the knee away from you. Bring the foot back, uh, put both soles of both feet on the floor. You're going to put your hands by, the, by your side. And this is a variation of what we do in the five Tibetans and in the uh, McGill core exercise, but it's slightly different in the progression. So you're going to lift your head, neck, and shoulders off the ground if you can. And of course, you could put, if you have a bad neck, your hands behind your head, bad back behind. Uh, your lumbar spine, and then just pick your soles of your feet up off the ground and hold. 
And if you want to progress it, bring your hands up off the ground and kick your legs out. And you can start up high. You can bring it down a little lower. We're going to hold for about 15. And I'm going to say that's eight, nine. And again, just if you need to, just pick them up like that with um, your knees bent, 13, 14, 15, and come down. We're gonna turn over on all fours. And pick up one leg, it's called a fire hydrant. Five, you're on all fours and just lifting your leg to the side. Six, seven, and then go to the other leg. And then go back to the first leg and do a circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or rotation as we also call them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come back up into a pike, inch your way back. Slowly come up, vertebrae by vertebrae. And rub those hands together and cultivate some chi. Forming a chi ball and letting it down to your arm. Moving from one leg to the other, like water flowing. Center. And open your heart. And pause and let it out. Sending that love to the cosmos. Center. Breath and uh, bring it down, heavenly chi. Going down. Gathering it up. And proclaiming. Namaste. Everybody good? Excellent. Thank you.
Okay, Nina, have a good one. Hi, Suzanne and Bill and Marlene, maybe. There's Bill and Jonathan. Welcome. So I hope we're um, stretched, but we're gonna now roll the arms, the arms. We're gonna roll the arms. So we want a ball and a roller. Could be a hard roller, could be a soft roller, whichever. We're gonna do the biceps with the roller. We're gonna do the deltoids with the ball. So let's get down on the floor with the ball to start. I'm gonna get the roller in position. Yeah. And what you want to do with this ball is place it right at the shoulder joint. And keep your arm at a 90 degree position. And try to find a tender spot around that small area of the joint and lean into it. There we go. Uh, yeah, okay, there we go. And just lean into it for, you know, 20 to 30 seconds. Breathing. Relaxing. And now roll that ball slightly in that joint. Moving your body to get it rolling around. And then bring your hand down and back, down and back. Do this four or five times. And move the ball to the other. Shoulder joint. Again, move it around a little, trying to find the tender spot. All right, that's good. Keep the arm up in 90 degree position. Lean into it. That's 10. And 20. Again, roll around a little. And then with the hand in the 90 degree position, go down and back. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, so much for the deltoids. Now we're gonna do the biceps. So you wanna get a roller, if you got a, a small roller, you could use that too. The ones that are half this size, 18 inches usually. Um, the bulk of the roller should be out away from you. You might want to put your one arm under your head, or you might want to use a pillow or a blanket. And we're just going to put the bicep 
on the rover. And roll back and forth. Looking for that tender spot. Trying different angles. And if you find it, when you find it, hold. And then curl your arm four or five times. And come up and we'll go to the other side. Again, roll back and forth, find the right angle for the sensitive spot that you want to attack. And when you find it, hold, applying as much pressure as is not too discomforting. And then do some curls with your arm. One more. Good. And uh, see how it feels. Feel good. That left uh, bicep of mine is really troublesome for the last few months, and that feels much better. How about you? Have a good day, T. Okay. Take care. Yep. You too. See you tomorrow. All right. Thanks, Tom. You're welcome, Hal. Good luck Thanks, today. Tom. Thank you. Take care, Mira. Thanks a lot, Tom. Richard, Jonathan. Tom. Take care. Thank you, Mira. Tom. Okay, Thank you. Have a good one.